Hello my dear friends, my name is Viktor Frusov and I am working as an entomologist in the Department of Endomorphagos Insect and Biocontrol in the Institute of Zoology of National Academy of Sciences in Kiev, capital of Ukraine. And today I want to tell you about Medin, which is going to be very soon, in September and October 2030. Because Actually, now it's only two months before this meeting. Meeting of Apimondia. Yes, Apimondia, the World Beekeeping Congress, is going to be held in Ukraine. And this is a slogan. Welcome to Ukraine, a country of Honeyland. Welcome to World Beekeeping Congress Apimondia in Kiev, capital of Ukraine. Why? Why you say it's important to come to this meeting? Because this meeting is international and many people are gathering there from different countries, experts from beekeeping, scientists, businessmen, experts on beekeeping and experts on business. And they are gathering together when we'll discuss different problems of ecology of honeybees, production of honeybee products, setting about different aspects of honeybees business. Well, and of course, if you are a beekeeper, probably you are studying books. For instance, if you keep this book of Encyclopedia of Root, this quite a heavy book 41st edition of ABC of Bee Culture, first published by Rood over 100 years ago, but now added with new information about honeybees' life and honeybee products' production. And of course, some authors which have been writing all these different papers here inside. Some of them are going to be in Apimonde meeting in Ukraine 2030. And of course, if you're reading books, or maybe even if you're writing, it will be important for you to meet with experts, with colleagues, with friends, and exchange your ideas, opinions, your thoughts, discuss it, not on forums in internet, not in discussion in internet, but personally looking to each other eye to eye and asking difficult questions, provocative questions, and maybe enthusiastic questions, because all of these discussions are actually very, very motivational for researchers, for business people, because actually in discussion you will get a truth about the subject, about your business, about your study. And of course, if you are coming to Ukraine, you have a unique opportunity to look around. Actually, today I am in the laboratory. Maybe I will get time to show you some places around in the city of Kiev and show you some interesting places on my video. And of course you can see it on your own eyes when you're coming to Congress. This Congress of World Beekeeping Congress of Himondia will be held in September 29th till October 4th. And it's going to be interesting meeting. Some people are going even after Congress tours looking for some apiaries around Kiev or some people are going to Carpathian region to see interesting apiaries and of course I guess you'll have some fun as well but if you will spend a few days after meeting just around the city of Kiev you can meet with local beekeepers and you can discuss with them something about your business, ask them about their business, 
and they will be absolutely enthusiastic to show you their technique, their beekeeping technology, their apiary, their beehives, and you will test, actually, of course, Ukrainian honey, which is pretty lovely indeed. Of course, very important holiday for beekeepers will be in August, in August 17th. Well, this is the day of beekeeper. In this day, people are coming together to some fair place for market and they are selling Ukrainian honey. Some people like to buy just a fresh honey and it's not packed sometimes in extremely nice bottles or just jars. Okay, sometimes people sell this fresh honey in a simple boxes for like plastic boxes. Nevertheless, if you test it, not always, I say, but in most cases, honey is pretty tasty, delicious and very nice. Okay, of course, honey should smell just field of flowers, field of this nectar, which have been covered by honeybees. And this honey is wonderful. And I hope that when you're coming to Ukraine, to Beekeeping Congress up in Mondia, you will also test Ukrainian honey, which is delicious, tasty, and you can bring with you just a jar of Ukrainian honey to test it with your family, with your friends, enjoy yourself, enjoy life, enjoy world around, and welcome to Ukraine. Welcome to Kiev, to the city of Kiev, capital of Ukraine, to Apimondia in September 29th, October 4th. If you have some doubts to go or not to go, get off your doubts. Always say, I will see something interesting. Let's go to Ukraine, let's go to Kiev. Maybe you had some other proposals, but if you have maybe even ancestors, maybe of grandfather, grand grandfather, or grand grandmother, they were just with Slavonic roots, maybe Polish, Ukrainian, Russian. I will think, oh, maybe interesting to see this land now. So you will see it on your own. Oh, but you, I will see you soon in Apimondia, in Kiev, capital of Ukraine. Good luck and see you soon.